Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hara Tonight. This is the third and final segment of the program. We will continue this. We, in the second segment, if you were with us, we were talking about morality in Islam. The topic in this segment is very much related to this. Uh, we're talking about etiquette and honoring the rights of our neighbors, whether they're Muslims or non-Muslims. Uh, so we're joined by two brothers, uh, and we appreciate them and love them for being with us. Brother Luqman Hakim, salam alaikum. Welcome to Hada tonight. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, very, very uh, uh, honored to be with you as always. It was my pleasure. Yeah, and also we're joined by uh, Brother Ibrahim Hassan. Assalamu alaikum to you, Brother Ibrahim. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. It's my pleasure to be here. Yeah, so I understand that you're the brother of one of our other guests. Yes. Uh, is it Abu Adam? Yes. Yeah, well, please send our greetings to him. We love and appreciate him so much. Okay. All right, so we're talking about uh, uh, etiquette mm. and the rights and responsibilities that we have mm. with our neighbors, mm. whether they be Muslims or not. Mm. Let's start off by uh, talking about who or what is a neighbor? Mm. Uh, all thanks and praises are due to Allah. May peace and blessing be upon the Prophet, his yes. family, his companions, and his followers until the day of the judgment. Mm. The question is very great. I would like to start everything with definition. Yeah. Because <laughs> definition is very important. Without definition, we cannot comprehend something, we cannot understand something mm. deeply. Yeah. Yeah. So when we are going to talk about the neighbor, who is the neighbor? In the simple definition, probably we could say that neighbor is someone who lives n next to us, someone who lives next to us. This is the common definition of neighbor. So if you are living in the apartment, so someone who is living next to your door, it is your neighbor. Mm. This is the common definition of neighbor. But in Islam, mm. the concept of neighborhood is not limited in it. Mm -hmm. So probably someone who is working with you, your co-worker, mm -hmm. it is considered your neighbor, neighbor. Mm. as well. Yes. Someone who is studying with you in your university, mm. your classmate, he is considered your neighbor as well. Mm. And someone who is sitting probably in the bus, in the bus stop, mm. he is considered as your neighbor as well. Mm. So Islam teach us to treat our neighbor in the good way. And Islam consider it is part of the belief so in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ever said, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir fal yukrim jarahu. Whoever believes in Allah in the last day, he should be generous to his neighbor. In another narration, fal yuhsin ila jarihi. He should be kind. Mm. He should treat his neighbor in the better way. Mm -hmm. Mm. So this is the beautiful thing about our religion. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so uh, whether it's someone that we might say is a passerby, mm. that we sit next to on the bus mm. for even just a minute, mm. or someone that we see every day, mm. you know, for however long we work or live in a place, mm. it's our neighbor. And we should hope, we should aspire for any transaction, any interaction that we have with them mm. to be uh, the utmost, the best, the most considerate, the most compassionate, merciful, kind action, whether it's our speech or our actions. Yes, absolutely. Whether he is Muslim or he is non-Muslim. Non -Muslim. Uh -huh. Islam doesn't only teach us to treat a Muslim kindly, mm -hmm. but also Islam teach us to treat non Muslim kindly as well. And this is in step with mm. a very important discussion we had last night mm. on racism mm. uh, and, and discrimination. There is no room for racism or discrimination in Islam. Yes. We are equally uh, charitable, uh, kind, and, and considerate of, of all human beings and all life. Yes, life. yes. And also, if we are going to talk about kinds of neighbor, actually in Islam we can classify 
kinds of neighbor. If he is Muslim mm -hmm. and he is your relative, one of, of your relative, he has three, I mean, rights. The right of being your relative, mm -hmm. the right of being co-religion or the, the right of Islam mm -hmm. and the right of neighbor, neighborhood. Uh -huh. yes. If he is Muslim, but he is not your relative, you just have only two rights upon him. The first, the right of being co-religion, mm -hmm. I mean the same religion, mm -hmm. and the second is the right of being your neighbor. neighbor. Mm -hmm. If he is non-Muslim, it is very important to note. Uh, if he is non-Muslim, non and also he is your relative, you still have to write. Mm -hmm. The right of your neighbor, mm -hmm. if it happened that your neighbor is I mean, non-Muslim and mm -hmm. he is your relative. The right of, I mean... Uh, being uh, your family member. Yes, and, and also, also the right of being neighbor. neighbor. Mm -hmm. If he is not Muslim, but he is also not your re relative, he, ha he just have one right, the right of being your neighbor. A neighbor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Uh, it's a very uh, nice description of a, yes. an outline to help us understand all these layers of rights yes. that are due and responsibilities to everyone mm. around us. Yes, and Islam teach us to treat them kindly mm -hmm. without any exception. <laughs> yes. uh, brother. Uh, Ibrahim, why is this so important? Why do we need to talk about rights uh, in, 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 uh, for Muslims? Why is this important for us to talk about? Of course, it's important. Mm. Prophet Muhammad said, I've been sent to perfect good manners. Mm. And uh, mm. ex uh, exactly uh, uh, the, the neighbor, neighborhood is something very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعَبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَبِذِي الْقُرْبَى وَبِذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينِ وَالْجَارِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْجَارِ الْجُنُبِ وَالصَّاحِبِ بِالْجَنْبِ وَالصَّاحِبِ بِالْجَنْبِ وَابْنِ السَّبِيلِ وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ so it's uh, one of three, al uh, the Qurba, the neighbor who is relative, as uh, Brother Luqman said, al Jari al-Junub, who is uh, a stranger, but is still uh, not relative, but still a neighbor, or uh, just a passerby, uh, like al sahib bil jamb um, like uh, one uh, sitting next to you in a bus or even uh, someone who's just enjoying a fresh air and uh, and sitting next to you in a garden. Mm. Of course it's important. I, I, on the way into uh, the studio tonight, uh, I learned the importance of this. Uh, mm. I, was, I was walking, you know, sometimes you can be walking on a perpendicular yes. a course, yes. right? Mm. You're, you're g and you're gonna reach the same point at the same time. Mm. And sometimes the, the people around us, they'll just cut you off without a thought, right? Mm. And I said, wow. Uh, so this was a chance for me to remember uh, that even s a transaction like that, it counts, mm. right? It matters. Mm. You know, if I'm in a situation like that, okay, let me yield to them, let mm. them have the way. Mm -hmm. and yes. And, and I just got some points. Mm, yes. <laughs> mm. um, so, so, so this uh, discussion is very important mm. uh, because, mm. continue please, brother. Okay, I, uh, I think it's important uh, whether uh, this neighbor is Muslim or non-Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important for da'wah, uh, especially mm. for those who are non-Muslim. Uh, uh, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu said a person is either, is either your brother in faith or equal in humanity. So uh, it's non uh, he's non-Muslim uh, but he's uh, in need to da'wah so he can know the greatness of Islam. Mm -hmm. 
uh, dawa in actions is much very uh, effective uh, is much more effective than dawa right. in uh, just appearance or that's right uh, is speech mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very important for mm -hmm. us to live the quran than mm -hmm. to yes, talk about the quran or mm -hmm. islam mm -hmm. yes uh, mm -hmm. all right so uh, we've talked about these definitions, these classifications of, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of neighbors. Yes. Uh, let's talk about some specific. I just gave one example mm -hmm. of being courteous to people who are our neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that that whole transaction I, that I just described mm -hmm. lasted for you know, I, you know, a fraction of a second, and mm -hmm. and then he he was gone, and that was it. I may never see him again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, especially mm -hmm. in a crowded city of two million people. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes uh. Uh, so, uh, what are some other examples of this uh, mm -hmm. that we can talk about to help understand uh, uh, this, the, these rights and how they should work, work themselves out? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you, you know that we are living in, in the apart apartment, for instance. We often, we don't know our, uh, our neighbor. Mm. Sometimes we do not even his name mm -hmm. yes. because we mm. are busy with everything and maybe people don't want to know to each other. The people mm. don't want to care of each other. Mm. This is the problem that we have today. Mm. But if we are going to talk, I mean, in the Islamic perspective, mm -hmm. I mean, Islam is beautiful religion. And the Prophet said, if you are I mean, sp if you span your net full, while you are knowing that one of your neighbor is getting hungry, you are not believer in the Muhammad. So Islam teach us that we have to take care of our neighbor, that we have to look after our neighbor, because because our neighbor are the people who are living. I mean, uh, next to us. Yeah, you, um. and, and I'm sorry to cut you, and you never know what may happen. Mm. There may come a time when you could save someone's life or they could save yours. Yes. It's very important. So mm. we're going to come back to this, Brother Luke, man. Mm. Sorry to interrupt you. Mm. We're ready for our first report. We'll take a look at this and come back with the brothers here. <laughs> Neighbors' Rights Shoot, I'm ready. Watch out, man. It's going to be a real bullet. Not shoot or what? You really want me to shoot and throw everything into it? Of course, go on. I'm waiting. What our neighbours are doing is simply unacceptable. God will not admit this. He won't forgive them. Calm down, Mohammed. Maybe they're doing something important in their house. Let's give them a little time. This cutting noise echoes through my head. Wait, don't get upset. Leave it to God. Where's Yasin? I'm here, Daddy. Go and see our neighbours and ask them to stop banging like this. Tell them your father's been working all day and that he deserves his sleep. Speak to them politely and don't forget that we are neighbours and that we must respect them. Hurry up, son. I think they've decided to destroy our house. Hurry up, Yasin. All right, Dad. Oh, may God help us. Yeah. Tren, tren, tren. Who's at the door? Oh, it's you. We're your neighbours. Yeah, I know. My dad's worked a lot today, and now he'd like to sleep a little. Mmm, yep. So let him sleep. But he can't sleep because of all this noise. Bummer. Anyway, we're almost done with our first half time. Can't you play later? No, 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 we borrowed this ball from Julian. We must give it back to him as soon as possible. And you'll stop my dad from sleeping? Give him a big glass of hot milk. That'll put him into deep sleep. La hola wala kawata ile bile. This noise isn't stopping, it's getting worse. You had no luck, child. What happened? These neighbours don't understand anything. They don't know about respecting their neighbours. They said they would finish their game and then they'd return the ball they borrowed. Perhaps you didn't explain the situation properly. 
Or perhaps you provoked them and they did the opposite of what you asked them. I swear to you that I explained correctly that Daddy needed sleep, but Kareem didn't want to understand, and he asked me... And what did he ask you? He asked me to give him a glass of warm milk to put him into deep sleep. Thanks for your advice, Kareem. Is this what your parents taught you? But where's his dad and his mum? I think they're still at work. They'll be back shortly. Call the police. We're not going to wait for him to finish his game. No, no, I, I can't do that. Would you be happy if their parents came home to find their children with the police? No, I can't do that. We're, we're neighbours. So what are you going to do? I'll go and sleep in my study. It's far away from this racket. Who knocked at the door, Corinne? It was our neighbour, Yassine. He asked that we stop playing because his father worked a lot today and he'd like to sleep. He's right. We made a mistake. This noise must really disturb our neighbours. We really should stop playing. What about the ball? Are we going to return it without me getting my own back at you? It doesn't matter. We'll do it another time. Go on, take the ball. We'll give it back to Julian right away. Ouch! Oh, I split my head open. Wow, you're bleeding a lot. What should I do? Go on, help me, brother. I'll go ask the neighbours for help. Kareem hit the ball too hard. It made the vase fall on his head and now he's injured and it's bleeding a lot. And where's Kareem now? I left him in the house. He's injured. Who's injured? It's Kareem. He split his head open. What are you waiting for? Come on, we must quickly take him to hospital. Thank God his bleeding has stopped. He's much better. I'm so sorry that we disturbed you. I'm really ashamed and regretful. We're neighbours, Sammy, and our dear prophet, Salah Alaho Alihi Wasalem, said one day, the angel Gabriel kept recommending the treatment of neighbours with kindness until I thought he would assign a share of inheritance. At this point, how long? Like the Prophet Muhammad, Salah Allahu Alihi Wasalem. Salah Allahu Alihi Wasalem. We must respect our neighbours. Do you now understand, my child? May God forgive me. I've done my neighbours a great wrong. Even if your neighbour isn't Muslim, you must respect his rights. And what are his rights, Rami? If you see him, greet him with a sincere smile. If he's sick, Pay him a visit. If he loses a family member, give him your condolences. If he makes a mistake, forgive him. Don't spy on him. Respect his family. Don't disturb him. And watch over his property in his absence. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam speaks rightly when he says, I have been sent to perfect good manners. Did Ali forget everything our neighbours did to us? When Kareem refused to delay his work? When he refused to lower the volume of his radio the day before my exams? Did he forget about all this? One of our duties to our neighbours consists in trying to show restraint and bear them patiently when they have an unpleasant behaviour or when they act badly towards us. I think Dad is back from hospital. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank God you're OK, brother. Karim insisted on speaking to you before going home. Please forgive my past behaviour. I was ignorant of my neighbours' rights. Don't worry, brother. We can all make mistakes. Thank you for forgiving me. I hope we can still be friends. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Hada tonight. We hope you appreciated this. Is this a short uh, drama? It's an animated, uh, provided uh, uh, ed, uh, an example of the thing that we're talking about. Uh, the importance of being uh, sensitive to uh, our neighbors, uh, being polite, considerate, and kind. Uh, and they, I'm very glad that they uh, mentioned in this, uh, this animation uh, the importance of doing this w regardless of the neighbor being Muslim or non-Muslim. Uh, and he gave us a short list of things that I think was very, very nice, uh, mm. uh, things, guidelines that we can use uh, with our neighbors. Uh, we are running out of time, brothers. Um, uh, has, is there something that we have not yet covered that you think is important for our discussion before we start to move to close out? Mm. Yes. I mean, through the video, I mean, we can learn something and some point that you already made mm -hmm. that is one of the our rights upon our neighbor is not harming them. Mm -hmm. It is important because 
and the Prophet ever said, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir fala yu'di jarahu. Whoever believes in Allah and, and believes in the last day, he should not harm his neighbor. So I think it is the important message of Islamic religion that we as Muslims, we should not harm our neighbors. Mm. And also, <coughs> maybe not harming our neighbors is very easy. But if we are being harmed, it is easy for us to forgive them. Of course, it is more difficult. Right. Yes. That is why one of the tabi'in, the follower of companion of Prophet Muhammad so by, nan, by the name of Hassan al-Basri, he is very famous uh, tabi'in. He ever said, Laysa husnul jiwar al-kafu anil adha. Being good neighbor is not that you don't harm your neighbor, but husnul jiwar huwa asabru al al adha. But being good neighbor is that when you can be patient, whenever your neighbor is harming you. Mm. It is very important. Mm. Mm. And there is story when in the time of Hassan al-Basri, Hassan al-Basri was living sort of like apartment. And his neighbor who, who is living above him in the toilet, there is something liquid that drop on in the house of Hassan al-Basri. Mm -hmm. Hassan as Bas Basri ha just take the, the, the container in order to collect, collect the liquid. Mm, mm -hmm. Someday Hassan, as Hassan al Basri was getting sick and this neighbor was feasting him. When he was feasting him, he knew this container that Hassan al Basri used to, to collect liquid that is dropping from, yeah, from his neighbors. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. And this neighbor was asking to Hassan, as, uh, Hassan al Basri, How many days, how many months did you do that? Yeah. Hassan al Basri s replied by saying, I did it 20 years. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> long time. He was yeah. very patient. His, his neighbor's flat above him was, had yes. a leak. It was dripping water in his flat. Yes. yes. And he just quietly collected it and emptied it out for 20 years. Yes. yes. And only when he was ill and his neighbor came to visit did he learn about this 20 year. Yes. Wow. That is Because he quite knew the rights of the neighborhood. And yes. I think it is okay if he tell his neighbor, neighbor that you're, I mean, uh, the liquid dropping yeah. to my... It's okay to it's tell It's okay. Them. Yeah, yeah. Y you haven't done wrong. Yes. As long as you're respectful, yes. like we saw this drama. Yes. Okay. It's a beautiful yeah. story. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, Brother uh, yes. Ibrahim, uh, you're... Of course, uh, mm -hmm. followers were so polite with their neighbors. They have uh, learned that from uh, the companions uh, which were raised up uh, on the hands of uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, Abdullah ibn Mubarak radiallahu anhu was a neighbor of uh, a Jewish neighbor. Uh, this Jewish man also uh, tr uh, wanted to sell his house. The value of this house at this time was about uh, 1,000 dinar. And uh, he, uh, this man tried to sell his house uh, by 2,000 dinars. Mm -hmm. And when the buyer tried to uh, argue with him, mm -hmm. why do you want to uh, put much more money in this value? He said, watch out. You don't know who is your neighbor. Your neighbor is Abdullah ibn Mubarak. Mm -hmm. This is, of course, should be uh, translated into money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were very polite. Yeah. Having, yeah. A, uh, having a good neighbor is something like yeah, blessing. Yeah, I see. So, so, so the, the value of the property was... Uh, uh, increased because of the quality of the character of the the neighbor. Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, another uh, yeah. another follower was uh, Ali ibn Hussein. Uh, uh, tried to summarize the rights of uh, of the neighbor. Uh, they are of course so num uh, numerous in Islam, but mm. he tries to uh, he tried to make them like in summary. Uh, he said uh, the uh, the neighbor's right rights are to protect his uh, interests when he's absent, mm -hmm. to, sh uh, to show him respect when he is present, 
to help uh, to help him when he's uh, inflicted with injustice and also to uh, not to remain on the lookout to de uh, to detect his faults and if by any chance uh, you knew any uh, any fault of his try as much as you can to hide it from the others mm -hmm. and of course that's mm. very important manner also he said uh, never leave him alone with calamity uh, of course you uh, we as neighbors should show condolence his uh, empathy or sympathy mm -hmm. yeah. uh, also to forgive him if he has uh, if he has done anything wrong and of course we are all human beings we uh, we of course do wrongs that's right but mm. uh, what what should you do you of course have to forgive you have to forgive yeah yeah you you're going to make something wrong one day right right uh, the, the the alternative is to not forgive mm. and then it's just Mm. I mean, it's not, it's not going to lead to anything good. Yes, mm. of yeah. course. In short, uh, live with your, with your neighbor a noble life. Mm. Mm. Just, as, uh, just as the highest Islamic ethical behavior has said. I, I, I like in the, the animation, he mm. added another point, don't spy on your neighbors. Of course. Yes, of course. Allah said, wa la tajassasu. What is the translation? Yeah. Uh, don't spy on, uh, don't on spy. the others. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so these are all very good points, very good mm -hmm. guidelines. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking about our residential neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also want to remember, as you told us, Brother Lukman, in the mm -hmm. beginning, that our neighbors is constituted by anyone that we encounter yes. on the way to work, in mm -hmm. school, in work. All these are our neighbors. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean, I especially in work, I mean, you go and you spend you know, depending on if you're part-time or full-time, you know, yeah. full, you know, uh, uh, a lot of hours during the week with these people, and yes. and so it's important. So uh, we've we've reached the end of the program. Thank you so much for being with us. It's been a very uh, informative and interesting discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother uh, uh, Ibrahim Hassan and Lukman Hakim have been with us. We've been talking about the etiquettes in Islam, uh, in particular relative to our neighbors, and so we hope that this was beneficial for you. Inshallah. Uh, we will end today's program, and inshallah, we'll be back tomorrow with more news, information, and discussions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.